On the anterior surface of the vertebral bodies is the anterior longitudinal ligament. This ligament starts at the base of the skull and runs down to the sacrum. It reinforces the intervertebral disc and limits extension of the spine. On the opposite side of the vertebral body is the posterior longitudinal ligament, which runs from the second cervical vertebra down to the sacrum. It is particularly important in reinforcing the intervertebral disc and limits flexion of the spine. Next, the ligamentum flavum is a ligament that connects the laminae of each vertebrae. Unlike the longitudinal ligaments, which are continuous, the ligamentum flavum is actually a series of short ligaments. It also runs from the second cervical vertebra down to the sacrum. Interestingly, the high content of elastin in this ligament gives it flexibility and prevents this ligament from buckling into the spinal canal during extension. It is possible for the ligament to hypertrophy, though, which could then cause spinal stenosis, a narrowing of the spinal canal. Spinal stenosis can also result from other factors, such as tumors or bone spurs. Between the transverse processes on each side of each vertebrae are the intertransverse ligaments. They limit lateral flexion of the spine. The interspinous ligaments connect the spinous processes of each vertebra and limit flexion in the spine. Finally, the supraspinous ligament is a continuous ligament originating from the C7 vertebrae down to the sacrum. It connects the tips of the spinous processes and limits flexion of the spine.